Very special day today. Yes, it is. How well do you really know Guitar Goddess? You're about to find out. Uh, up to now, there's been a lot of mystery surrounding you. I suppose so. I've been a long time fan of the channel. Thank you. And I had so many questions. So I thought I would use this as an opportunity while you're eating pancakes covered in peanut butter. Almond butter. Almond, you're right, almond butter. Yeah, it's your totally different butter. thing. It is my almond butter. Know, yeah, yeah, I know. That was our almond butter. To find out more about Guitar Goddess. So I have compiled a list of several questions. And there's a method to all these. It's a very scientific, psychological mm -hmm. thing that I've developed. And we're just going to get right to it. Okay. Favorite color? Plum. <laughs> favorite food? Pancakes. Pancakes are okay. Uh, mm. Favorite spice girl? Baby Spice. Baby Spice? Do you care to elaborate on that? Why Why Baby Spice? Because you're just like surrounded by stuffed animals and you know, like I felt like that was me as a kid. It was just perfect. I'm in my natural habitat right now. Like you, this is uh, great. Yeah, like, I've this never is, seen you like more so comfortable. Like, like this is like the goddess in pure form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what we had to do to get her to really open up. This is almost like a truth serum for you. <laughs> so we know you're not just trying to be cool. <laughs> Peanut butter, almond butter bank. Favorite band? Foo Fighters. Favorite action movie star? Jason Statham. <sighs> Great answer. Is there a particular Statham that you prefer, enjoy, like a particular movie? <sighs> Fast and the Furious Statham. Transporter Statham. Italian Lock job. Star. Ooh, Italian there's, job. There's another Early one. Statham. There's another one where he had a daughter, and I can't think of like the name of the movie, but he had hmm. like a little girl. I don't know. I can watch any Statham movie. I don't care. I'm not picky. Just as gotcha. long as he's in there, I'll watch it. Gotcha. So, like, yeah. Favorite book? Harry Potter series. You can't narrow it down to one. Do you have a favorite within the series? Harry Potter series. Wow. Not even playing around. Favorite U.S. president of all time. Has to be before 1980. Like, we're talking historical, way back. Abraham Lincoln, guy with a tall hat. Apparently, he shoved a lot of papers in there. He also is known for freeing the slaves. And he's on the penny. I love how he's a guy with the tall hat first, freeing the slaves like third, but that's cool. No specific order. Kind of, kind of a basic answer. I, I'm not here to judge. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. That's the right answer. Favorite Disney movie? Mmm, probably either Cinderella, because I can watch any Cinderella movie. So it doesn't, then, it's not a specific Cinderella, it's just the Cinderella I just love the, franchise? Yeah, I just love the whole, like, you know, like, she's an underdog, she's got these evil stepsisters, evil stepmother kind of thing, but I also love Pocahontas, too. Mmm. That's a good one. You have to pick one. Cinderella, then All honorable right. mention Pocahontas. Got you. Speaking of, Disney princess you most identify with. Not favorite Disney princess, you most identify with, and why? Hmm, okay. Disney princess I most identify with might be... Might be... Is it, I have to think about it's this tough. one. It is tough. You're on the on spot. I, Clock's ticking. This is a timed exam. Sorry. Okay. I'm thinking it might be Jasmine. From Aladdin because she has a tiger at Raj and I have I have a cat Which I've always cats. wanted a I've always wanted a pet tiger ever since I saw the movie but there like some logistical concerns okay. I feel like she was kind of sheltered in a way Jasmine oh yeah and I feel like You're, yeah in you a can way really <laughs> get from that. yeah so I feel like in a way I was kind of sheltered a little bit Just a little bit to the point know? that this is from your first trip to IHOP <laughs> This is, yeah, this was my first trip to IHOP yeah, uh -huh. ever. Mm -hmm. That's not sheltered. I don't know what it is. Thoughts on decorative pillows? Love them as long as they're not like super excessive to where you can't like, I don't know, like sit on a couch, you know, but like okay. they are necessary for decorative purposes. So a couch this size, I would say this is average couch size. Okay. How many pillows would you allow? No more than four. Four? Okay. All right. Who's your spirit animal? What is your spirit animal? Dolphin. Dolphin, mm -hmm. great. Your favorite Avenger of the core four. Like we're not counting like Hawkeye and Black Widow. Not that they're not above yeah. it, but I think the core four is the question. Does it have to be the core four? What do you, What would you, if you could extend it, what would it be? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Let's 
See, he's not really an Avenger. But he's like... But, okay, I'll accept, I'll accept that. Mm -hmm. All right, which Harry Potter house would you belong to? Mm. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm waiting. <clears throat> Gryffindor! <laughs> Favorite subreddit? I don't actually really go on Reddit very often. Like, I don't have, like, a Reddit account. But, mm -hmm. like, I feel as if I would be interested in either, like, Taylor Swift or Harry Potter subreddits, so. Okay. I got you. It's cool. Favorite board game? It's, like, the German version of Sorry. It's, like, Das Golden Spielen. Which isn't very sorry at all, is it? No. The Golden and Play? Is that what that means? I guess. German and, like, sorry. it has, like, gold-looking dice that are actually, like, rounded instead of like corner edge to like regular normal dice like they feel really smooth and they look butterscotchy designed by bmw i heard very aerodynamic dice favorite song mm. oh end game by taylor swift featuring ed sheeran Ooh. featuring future wow okay yeah. all right who is your hero cannot be somebody that you know like you can't say sean daniel's my hero because it's worth I mean, what, what yeah. am I going to say? You, so. but, well, you can't, so it's neither, neither here nor there. Okay. Well, I think Taylor Swift would be my hero. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Favorite TV show? Hmm. The Office? American or English? American. Okay. I mean, I haven't really seen the British one, but mm -hmm. I'm assuming the American one is better. <laughs> And um, honorable mention would have to be parks and recreation. Okay. Favorite fast food place? Qdoba. Guac is included. Guac, that's Chipotle. Uh, that's Take the some reason. Notes. Yeah, that, that is the reason. The, the free guac mm -hmm. is where it's at. And chips. They give you free chips too. Favorite Power Ranger? Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Pink Ranger. And it has to be like OG Kimberly. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, he's, yeah. You speak my language. You get me, Guitar Goddess. If not YouTube, then what? Maybe still a teacher of some sort. Maybe like an English or a German teacher. But like on Vimeo? No. Probably like in a, like a high in school, actual school. Or, or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I like that. Maybe. You get that. One piece of advice you would give to the children? Hmm. Think about it. Piece of advice you give to children. I'm talking mm. like seven to nine year old, impressionable. Okay. They look up to you. I think what I would give, I think advice that I would give to young children or even people of like middle school age, because I feel like that's still very impressionable. And that's like an age of like having a lot of self doubt, um, confidence issues. Mm hmm. This is gonna sound super cliche. You probably hear this everywhere. Everybody's telling you this, your teachers, your parents, whoever. Be yourself. Like I, if I could go back and tell my younger self to not care what other people think of me, that is what I would have said. Because your life may seem like right now it revolves in whatever, if you're in high school, if you're in middle school, let me just tell you, life is so much better after middle school, Once you make it out. after high school, mm -hmm. after, like, I mean, literally, at, when you are on your own as an adult and you can make your own choices, I mean, there's still some hard things. You can go to IHOP know. at 3 a.m. You can do get some... things that you want to do and, like, you stop caring what other people think about Doesn't you. Doesn't matter. I, I just think it's so important and I, I just don't think anybody really realizes that at such a young age is that, like, being yourself so important just like even if you're super weird own it yeah own, own it that yes. seriously own that and i feel like that's mm -hmm. such an attractive quality actually is like when you are yourself like think about like people that just kind of stand out in your school and like why they stand out like there might be some people that stand out maybe not i mean not like the kid that eats his hair stand out right? <laughs> no but someone just that has a really fun personality that is really nice to everyone, though. Like someone really? who's just funny, 
and nice to everyone. I feel like a lot of those people are just really awesome in school. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's so. This is kind of related. You can time travel. Uh-huh. Going back in time to warn yourself, your younger self of something. What do you warn the young guitar goddess? Of? I mean, how young are we talking? You can time travel to any point in time. Okay. Any version of yourself. I'm really not into like... I mean, as much as I feel like we all have moments we'd like to redo in our lives, I feel like sometimes your screw-ups are just meant to happen so that way you learn from them because you might make a similar mistake down the road and you're just still gonna happen anyways because you didn't learn from it. So I don't think I would go back and really change anything but I think one thing in particular that I would warn myself about is I had this lady that was a neighbor of mine and she was kind of like a stand-in grandmother. Like she was amazing and she passed a little bit early um, and I just wish I still had her around because um, she's just really amazing to talk to amazing role model and really like a best friend and awesome. so i wish i would have known i mean cause she was she eventually she moved away and i just i mean Could've i would have liked to time. yeah i would have liked to spend a lot more quality time with her so yeah. yeah it's a bummer so favorite guitarist on a lighter note huh? yeah <laughs> on a lighter note favorite guitar player uh Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters. Favorite male singer. Oh, Careful now. I fell off my plate. Favorite male singer. Um, mm, this hard one for me. It, it constantly changes. Don't say it. Don't say it. Chad. Chad. Kroger. Chad Kroger. Favorite female singer. Um. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Let's just Come on. If she's Taylor your Swift. hero, she should automatically. Yeah. All right. Oh, the dreamiest Hollywood hunk. Hmm. Probably John Krasinski. Like mm. would be number one. John Krasinski. Great personality. Yeah. From the office. Mm. If you're a professional wrestler, what would your finishing move be? It would be guitar slam. Down to like on the top of their head. So just like like an acoustic guitar, electric guitar. Probably an acoustic. That's what people most like identify me with is an acoustic guitar. You smash a guitar. So I just like I'd be wearing it on my back, and I oh. would just like rip it off. So the strap would just like pop off. That's pretty cool. And then I just slam it down on top. Wow. Of them. All right. Yeah, that's my finishing move. Got it. Yeah. The Olympic event you would be least worst at. Or best at same difference. I'd like to say ice skating. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a beautiful thing, and I've like I don't know I've tried mm -hmm. to to ice skate a little bit. You know I'm I'm a pretty good decent rollerblader. You that, know and I counts. tried sure. ice skating moves on the street. I wouldn't always recommend it. I don't Do you like know, but... put on like a onesie with like a little snowflake skirt and <laughs> rollerblader on top? Yeah. Is that? <laughs> No, but you know, I try to lift the back leg up in the air and then do like twirls. And That's cool. Stuff. I can't do. I can't do that. That's yeah. awesome. The your favorite YouTube video that you've done, aside mm. aside from this current one, where you're this might that. top it. I get to eat pancakes <gasps> and be interviewed and be interviewed. I, I mean, how much better does can it, it get? doesn't get much better than that. No, really, this is great. Mm. Um, favorite video ever. Hmm. I think it would be my Despacito video. Solid. Despacito, it's got like yeah. a million views. Mm, I mean, no, it's get, closing not, in. Not it's, it's got a lot. It's, it's going to get you a million. It's getting up there. All right, so you're in prison. You're falsely imprisoned. What did okay? I do? Hypothetically, uh, tax evasion from not reporting your Patreon earnings. <laughs> Sign up for her Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in prison. Okay. So I guess you're not false. I guess you deserve to be in there because you really got to disclose that. But you're in prison, nonetheless. I didn't kill anybody. You have to get a tattoo. What is your prison tattoo? And where is it? Mm. It would definitely be... I know I'll never get a tattoo, but if I had to get a tattoo, I feel like it would be on like the inside of my wrist. Okay. Um, Left wrist? 
I don't really know. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be my right wrist. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. But um, I feel like I would probably do like the quote thing. Like, Which quote? I don't know, actually. I just, I feel like it would be some kind of beautiful word. Like something really inspiring and motivational to just get me through my prison days. My dark, dark. Just a beautiful days. word to shine mm -hmm. light in the prison. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it would be. All right, maybe some suggestions in the comments. Yeah, let me for know. The most beautiful word. A lot of beautiful words out there. There are a lot of beautiful mm -hmm. words out there, mm -hmm. like pancakes. I just love pancakes. I don't think pancake is a beautiful word. I mean, when I okay, maybe pancake it's not is like, harsh. Maybe pancake. it's not like a beautiful word, but when I hear pancakes, I think beautiful things. You know, uh, speaking of pancakes, it's a good uh, pancake-related beautiful word: butter pecan. Butter pecan. Butter pecan. I love saying butter pecan. Butter pecan. Get a butter pecan mm. tattoo. That'll get you through it. The most impactful Taylor Swift song you've heard. It's affected Ooh, you the most. Okay, in well life. now we have a new album. That's on our hands here. Ooh. Dang, this this is gonna be a tough one. I'm, I'm kind of try sad. to avoid the recency bias. You're on the spot. No. <laughs> Is that a Taylor Swift song? No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's Kelly Clarkson. Actually. No. Um, it's Kelly Clarkson, yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I can identify. You gotta be. You gotta pick one. Most impactful. Just pick one. <sighs> but it's so hard. No, it's it's the hot seat. That's why it's called the hot seat. Okay. It's not easy on the hot seat. I mean, there's so many great Taylor Swift songs, and I can relate You're to stalling. so many of these She's Taylor stalling. Swift songs. But what's the most impactful? It affected you? I mean, right now, I just want to like say Endgame because I'm addicted to that. There song. you go, Endgame. But I don't know if it's like the most impactful. But I. Sure. Yeah. It has. I mean, I love the message. The message is amazing. I. I mean, I can relate. It's great. It's beautiful. But. End game. You're not going to change it? This is it. You have five seconds to change it. Or forever. Okay, we're just going to go. End game it is. Game. All right, game. your favorite End video game. game. Speaking of games. Ooh, favorite video game. Probably Mario Kart. Which Mario Kart? There's several Mario, Mario Kart. Kart 8 Deluxe. The Deluxe? Yeah, you can get mm. two items. You can have two items. Oh, like, yeah. a, like a star and a it's shell amazing. or something? That's pretty yeah. cool. All right. Mm -hmm. What is an unusual skill that maybe some people don't know about you? Eating pancakes. You are very skilled at that. It's an um, art form. You've got, you're, you're the Da Vinci of pancakes hmm. because you customize them yourself. I mean, I didn't really customize these, though. But yeah, you put almond butter. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess a little bit. Sometimes banana slices of them. Yeah. Fancy. Oh, I've, I've, I've seen you do some art. Straight up art with pancakes. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, yeah, pancakes. Eat, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know what other, like... I, I mean, feel I, like you I may have... only be using that as an answer because you're currently eating a plate That's of pancakes. That's all I'm thinking so. about right now. I'm so happy. I understand. That's all I need. Least favorite band... I don't think I have one. I heard uh, the band Kiss hates pancakes. I see what you're doing That's what there. I've heard. I'm just re relaying information. Should we fact check that? We don't need to. There's no time. Kiss it is. Your favorite late night host? Um, probably Jimmy Fallon. Solid answer. Yeah. All right, you have to act this one out. What is the facial expression you make when you're pretending to listen to somebody? Yeah, I totally agree. It's pretty good, even over the pancakes. It's nice. Uh, zodiac sign. Pisces. I'm a fish. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And finally, who's your favorite YouTuber? Ooh, favorite YouTuber. Hmm, I have a few of them, but 
If I had to narrow it down, you can only pick one to watch. To one, it's probably be someone who frequently uploads. So you have a lot of content. Mm. Can go over. I know a few of those. Yeah, it's a lot to choose from. Someone mm. who's really engaged with their community, responds to all yeah. the comments. You mm. probably would want to pick someone with a good mix of education, comedy, original content. Hmm. I agree. Not sure who. No, I'm not. I'm not sure who. What do you guys think? Like this is this is your questionnaire. I mean, man, I think this is the hardest question of them all. That's why I saved it for last. Mm -hmm. So many good options out there. I think it might have to be music. Do you need to take a sip of that? Uh? <laughs> Of that handcrafted espresso drink <laughs> that you're currently enjoying in this fine home that has been provided to you free of charge for a week? For a full week? For a musically winning week. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. We'll let, okay. we'll let her answer this in the comments. <laughs> you know what's funny though, huh? Is you're gonna ask me these same questions on my channel. Cause I'm a YouTuber too, by the way. <laughs> Check that out if you want. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not gonna have any pancakes. She ate all of them. So I'm just you gonna- You ate all your pancakes <laughs> earlier at IHOP. I got a little excited. I was smart and I saved mine for later cause I knew I was gonna have a coffee. So I hope uh, that you learned a lot about Guitar Goddess. <sighs> Really? I didn't say anything. I hope, I hope, I think we all learned a, a lot. Sign up for a Patreon, no? Because now that you know the goddess Only within if you want to. Without, Only if you can afford to. Don't feel like you have to. Helps. But it does help my channel. Pumpkin spice it, pancakes at IHOP with me, almond butter are not cheap. It helps me afford pancakes. With almond butter. Almond butter is not. Almond butter is a luxury. They don't luxury. give that stuff away. I don't, yeah? I've don't. i never bought almond butter before. It's more expensive. Yeah, it really is. I just get like a big jar of natural Jif. Mm -hmm. Hey, nothing wrong with that. It's good. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to settle for it. Sometimes but sometimes you have to settle. Sometimes. When picking a favorite YouTuber or picking a favorite peanut butter. I guess. A lot of settling going on. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for answering the question, being the hot seat, being a good thanks sport about it. Thanks for feeding me, or you didn't feed me pancakes, but thanks for getting me pancakes. No problem. So, and asking me questions so my audience can better get to know me. I love it. Uh, <laughs> thanks for stopping by, everybody. Thank you. We'll see you over on Sean's channel. Come on down. Where I won't be eating pancakes, sadly. So it's a little bit of unless a we find place. some more it's around a here bit somewhere. Of a place yeah. Pancakes. Bummer. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But come on down.